Nous allons maintenant passer au message de solidarité. Le premier message sera délivré par l'honorable Bernadette Lahaye, vice-président honoraire du Parlement panafricain. Madame la Présidente, vous avez la parole. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President of the Pan-African Parliament, Honorable Roja Nkododan, Honorable Vice Presidents of the Pan-African Parliament, Mr. Valentine Tapsoba, UNHCR Regional Director for Southern Africa, Right Honorable Faustine Boakubi, Speaker of the National Assembly of Gabon, Right Honorable Richard Sowoya, Speaker of the Parliament of Malawi, other honorable guests present here. My colleagues, once an honorable member, always, an honor, always a member of Parliament. My colleagues, honorable member of the Pan-African Parliament, staff of PAP, other distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. A very good and warm morning to you all. I bring you greetings from my family and people of my beloved country, Sierra Leone. Let me begin by thanking Mr. President and the Vice President of this Parliament staff for inviting me to this official opening of the second session of the Fifth Parliament and to also make a solidarity statement. I'm very grateful and happy to be back home here in PAP, where I spent nine good years as a member, a chairperson, and also vice president. I have been gone only for a year, but it seems like ages. I can recognize some old faces here of my colleagues with whom I lived and interacted over the years with very fond memories. On a solemn note, let me also extend my sincere and heartfelt sympathy to the family, government and people of Nigeria, and the Pan-African Parliament family for the home calling of one of Africa's illustrious son, the late Right Honorable Bete and Amadi, former member, former first vice president, and former third president of the Pan-African Parliament. Last year, by this time, Honorable Amadi and I sat at the back of this chamber while the elections of the PAP Bureau members were taking place. I asked Afra his health, and this was what he said. I thank God for my life. I'm recovering slowly. He was a fine gentleman, intelligent, hardworking, patient, and respectful to all. We shall remember him for leading the arduous task of revising the protocol establishing the Par African Parliament, the rules of procedure, the code of conduct, and the beginning of the implementation of the new structure of the Pan African Parliament. Let me thank the president, the vice presidents, and staff for attending the funeral of our dear beloved brother and former president. May his soul and the souls of all other departed PAP members rest in perfect peace. Let me formally also congratulate you, Mr. President, and your vice president on your election to the PAP Bureau last year. I wish you God's guidance and a successful tenure. Let me also congratulate the new PAP members that have just taken their oath. I congratulate you all and wish you a successful tenure. I have been following very keenly news on the work of Pan-African Parliament and must congratulate you all on the progress and achievements made since your election. The new reporting format of the activity report of PAP in line with the strategic objectives in PAP strategic plan, highlighting the major achievements, main challenges, and reflections on future and potential activities of PAP in realizing its goal is very commendable. 
the quality of the activity report has also greatly improved. I was privileged to read the October 9, 2018 report. This is in line with African Union's recommendation of a result-based rather than activity-based reporting format. The quality of the committee reports have also improved immensely. As many subject matter and issues critical to the development and integration of the African continent are being interrogated and discussed. Specifically, I'm encouraged to note an increased participation and involvement of civil society and the peoples of Africa in PAP's work by institutionalizing that relationship. Development of draft model laws on disability and on food security and nutrition in Africa, to name a few. Advocacy for the signing and ratification of the African continental free trade area and free movement of persons. Rights of persons with albinism, the role of political parties in building vibrant and inclusive democracy in Africa, statelessness and peace and security. I could go on and on, but time will not permit me. Bravo to the Bureau, members of parliament staff, and all collaborating national and international institutions. A lot of progress has also been made in the signing and ratification of the revised PAP protocol. When I was in this parliament, we had only achieved five ratifications. Today, we have 12 and 21 signatories, respectively. I congratulate the Bureau for putting more efforts in the advocacy and those countries that have signed and ratified, while encouraging those that have not done so to do so. Otherwise, PAP will not have full legislative powers as envisaged. We still have a few miles to cover to reach the threshold of 28 ratifications for the protocol to come into force. As your honorary vice president, and one who was very instrumental in ensuring that her country, Sierra Leone, was among the first five to sign, ratify, and deposit the revised protocol, I'm available to work with the Bureau to expedite the process and on any other AUCR document that needs popularization and ratification. Let me also encourage the speakers and secretaries of clerk of our parliament to continue to call on the executive branch of government as they have pledged to do during their annual meetings here in the PAP, using the various parliamentary tools available to speed up signatory and ratification. I'm also very much encouraged about the progress the Pan-African Parliamentary Alliance on Food Security and Nutrition, PAP FSN, I call it my baby, has made since I relinquished the position of president to the first vice president, Honorable Stephen Marcelli. I'm happy to inform this gathering that Sierra Leone Parliament established the Pan-African Parliament on Food Security and Nutrition last year, following a two-day workshop jointly organized by FAO and Parliament. Two of the Parliamentary Alliance members took part in the Global Parliamentary Alliance Conference in Madrid, Spain in October 2018 with FAO sponsorship. As the national focal point for the Parliamentary Alliance in Sierra Leone, and providing both technical and professional backstopping services to the Alliance. The legal assessment study on existing food and nutrition security legal frameworks in Sierra Leone is underway. We are planning on a one-day workshop in mid-June this year to share the results of the assessment with the Alliance members as part of the several series of capacity building exercises under the PAP FAO Technical Cooperation Assistant that was signed in this parliament. The AU's theme for 2019, Year of Refugees and Internally Displaced Persons in Africa, towards durable solutions to forced displacement in Africa, is very apt and timely. As a result of man-made conflicts, terrorist attacks, proliferation of small arms and light weapons, unequal exploitation and allocation of natural resources, natural disasters and climate change effects. Many Africans have been forced to move involuntarily from their homes in search of safety and better livelihood. Most have become refugees internally displaced and returnees. I understand that PAP held a two-day workshop on the theme on improving members' understanding of the situation as well as reflecting on the contributions that PAP could make to find a durable and lasting solution to this problem. To this end, I will encourage PAP members to work with their respective governments 
to sign and ratify the various conventions and protocols relating to statelessness and the protection of refugee internally displaced persons and returnees. I'm happy to report that Sierra Leone, in the last parliament, ratified all the conventions and protocols under my leadership as vice president and leader of the Sierra Leone delegation to PAP. As the host country for PAP, let me wish all South Africans a free, fair, credible, and peaceful elections on Wednesday 8th May this year. Whatever the result, it is South Africans and South Africa that win. There are no losers. On this note, let me once more appreciate the President, the Vice President, members of staff, and the members of Parliament for inviting me, and wish you all God's abundant masses and a successful deliberation. Long live Africa. Long live the Pan-African Parliament. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Obligado. Shukram. Asante sana. Thank you very much.